Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Astama. I presume you have heard of Ferrari, right? The Italian luxury sports car company that makes sports car. Founded by Enzo Ferrari, who conducts races all across the globe. Well, this time they try to conduct a race in Saudi Arabia. Are you serious? As I am speaking right now, a Grand Prix in Saudi Arabia is happening between 17 to 19 March. But there have been quite a lot of drama around this event and the details of the drama are quite interesting or should I say they are quite disrespectful to Muslims. Let's take a look. The pic you are seeing right now is indeed the official cover art of the event of Ferrari in the mosque of the Prophet. Peace be upon him. What the hell is this? If you look at the mosque of the Prophet, peace be upon him, this is the area where people pray, actually prostrate their head to the ground. And Ferrari thought it was a good idea to put their car right there in the cover art and post it online. This is posted on the Instagram as well as Twitter, probably saying they're returning to Jeddah. The problem is Jeddah is 420 km away from Medina. So what was the purpose behind putting a Ferrari in Masjid Navi Mosque of the Prophet which was 420 km away from the actual circuit track? Are the people running this company really that dumb or is it all purposeful? So I found this pic when scrolling the Twitter last night and the Ferrari official page deleted the pics after a while when Muslims started to call them out. But they should no apology, nothing whatsoever, they simply just removed the cover art. And so I tried googling the pic to get the actual banner and voila, I get two pics, the cover arts which were officially posted on the sites which have been removed now. And this trend of corporations posting disturbing, disgusting promotion art is quite frequent now. Remember Balenciaga, the brand that posted children wearing BDSM clothing? What the hell was that about? And when the people called them out, they simply issued an apology, took down the art and nothing. And in this case, Ferrari did not even issue an apology. They simply just removed the cover art and thought that it was all done and well. But what I wanna know from the cover artist Valerio Bifalo is... How did he get that idea from? Like, really? Someone in the company is messing about if the company itself is not being purposefully disrespectful. The place in the background of Ferrari is actually the area of Masjid Navi, the most of the Prophet, the second most holiest site of Muslims. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, himself laid the foundations of the Masjid Navi and it is still present up to this day and Muslims throughout the year go there. So I have a question for you guys. Why the heck did you come 420 kilometers away from the actual race track to Medina to put this disrespectful piece of art on your Twitter and Instagram accounts? And do we deserve an apology for this behavior? I think absolutely yes. Is it gonna happen? Absolutely not. And if it does happen, I'll be quite happy and I think if it is a general mistake, we should get an apology and we should get a clarification statement from Ferrari. But what do you guys think about this issue? Is it Islamophobia, purposeful or is it simply a genuine mistake? Let me know down your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be quite interested to hear them and inshallah, I'll see you next time. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.